Chicken? Chicken? Uh, chicken. Uh, chicken. <laughs> you guys, hello. Another perfect, beautiful, sunny summer day in North Eastern Illinois. Yeah, you don't hear it called that very often. Today I'm in Evanston, just north of Chicago, and I'm getting Afghan food. All right, Thomas Olson, today's donor. Give it up for Mr. Thomas Olson. Put your hands together at your phone. <laughs> Sean, comma, hello. One of my favorite restaurants is actually outside of Chicago in Evanston. Check out Kabul House for incredible Afghan food. My go-to order is the chicken kebab with Afghan rice. Make sure to ask for both the red and the green chutneys slash hot sauces on the side. The word chutney just sounds like it has more class, moral, wor moral worldliness. Chutneys. Class, class, class. Let's go get this food with the chutneys. Why is he so obsessed and set on the chutneys? <laughs> I've realized I've developed this really odd skill where I know exactly, I can like look at a restaurant, even if I've never been there, and I can think to myself, all right, based on the time of day, what day of the week it is, what kind of food it is, I can like assume when to place the order so that they're literally bagging it up when I get in there. That was the case again today. I've never, I hardly ever come to Evanston. I have no idea, I just kind of judged it and I literally hit the bullseye. Like if for some reason this is a darts analogy, why am I holding a Portillo's beanie? I don't know. Nobody cares, Sean. And I know what some of you are thinking. You're like, Sean, that's not that hard of a skill, dude. Like, it says on the apps, like, how long for pickup. No, if, if for somebody who's done this for six years, though, I know that those times are not right. That said it wasn't gonna be ready for 40 minutes. I said, no way, it's gonna be like 22. And smack dab on the on the no, once I'm back, back to the bullseye analogy. So if you throw a, 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 a metal-tipped spear at a... <laughs> I'm trying to find somewhere to park. Nobody cares. I don't like taking up parking spots in restaurants when they have like limited spaces and doing my food reviews because that's psychotic and I care about other people. And I'm really f***ing humble. I'm so humble. I'm so Alright. Ow. The f***? Dinner table. Alright, so I just want to point out real quick, Kabul House Restaurant has 1,635 Google reviews and a 4.4 rating, which is VV good. It's good. <laughs> Have not had Afghan food on the vlog. I've had it in my life. Ripping bags open like a degenerate. Sauces. You see how I made sure to ask for those sauces? Oh cool, TV dinner. Is this bread? Shawnee likes carbies. Oh yeah, it's like a pita bread, pita malark. So I was kind of curious how Google defined Afghan cuisine, so I so I Googled it, because my Bing wasn't loading. Bing. Afghan cuisine is influenced by Persian, Central Asian, and Indian cuisines due to Afghanistan's close proximity and cultural ties. Yeah, sure, but it's its own thing. Like, why are you immediately going to like, it's kind of like Persian food. It's like, how would you describe Canadian food? Well, it's, it's, it's similar to American food with more gravy due to its geographic longitude latitude just north of the United Shut up! I've had a lot of chicken kebab in my life, but not, I don't think I've had chicken kebab from an Afghan re restaurant. Let's pop the top to the lack, bitch, I'ma go get it. Open. Whoa. Smells insane. Oh my god, look at that like hummus with like spice on that. Is that paprika or some cayenne pepper? A little like cucumbery oniony salad there. Look at this. Come on and party tonight. Come on and party tonight. Coffee and chicken. If I started a podcast, welcome back to Coffee and Chicken. I'm your host, Sian Ely. Guys, look at it up close. Doesn't that look pretty? Look at the colors. Drive quieter. 
So this is Afghan rice with raisins. I've never had that before. All of this food was like $11. So that's good. Thomas Olson, thank you so much for this donation, my friend. Try to get a little, ooh, it's like that long grain rice. A Little bit of chicken, a little bit of rice, a little bit of hummus. Afghan cuisine on the vlog. We're making moves. Let's eat it all. It's like Dan Campbell at the end of episode four of Hard Knocks. Sean, what do you think of the chicken kebab? Um. There's a number of ways I could go with <laughs> Number of ways I can go with that. Um. It's incredible, mouth-watering, buttery. My teeth went through it like butter, like butter. Who would have thought raisins and rice was good? A little sweetness, a little bit of texture. This is why this vlog exists. You guys have incredible food taste, and the people that are, are ready to nut up about it and donate, the people that want to put their money where their mouth is and see if it truly is good to somebody else, that's what's great about this, and this is no exception. It's incredible. America's got great food and everything, but other cultures just get so much more out of stuff, it feels like. I wish there was more chicken. Like, I want like 25 pieces of this. Oh my God. Grant, oh, I don't even need to cut it with a knife. My fork went through it. Now that's tender. The other great thing about this meal is you don't feel crappy eating it because it's like chicken and rice. And there's just way less guilt. All right, I'm gonna go into this. You call it a red and green. This is, whoops, it's almost more yellow. Yellow chutney. Oh, she's spicy. Oh, yeah, though. Did I spill my pants? Nope. We gotta get all the rest of this out of our stuff, man. Well, that was legendary. That is so good. I don't know what's in it. I couldn't tell you. I assume you knew where this was going today, but have you had <laughs> Afghan food? Whoa. Whoa. That red chutney is unlike anything I've ever had. It's like almost like fruity. Tom, this is a wild one, my dude. <laughs> Woo! Let's get a little lemon on the chicken. And on the right. That will clear out your sinuses. <laughs> I love my life. That might be the, some of the best takeout rice I've ever had. Oh my God. I mean, I just don't even understand how, like if you are afraid of trying new cuisines, like this is what's so fun. Life can get really redundant and boring. Like just one time instead of going and getting Wendy's, Take a turn left, go down to the part of town that has more local restaurants, and snag something like this. You're just, it's so much more fun. It's like going to the zoo. You kind of know there's like koalas and pandas and flam flamingos there, but you're gonna end up finding something you had no, no idea that existed. The ring-tailed lemur bear didn't know it existed before today, and now I'm obsessed. What? Terrible analogy. This is unreal. This is unreal. Try some of this little salad here. A lot of cucumbers. <laughs> the onion and the cilantro balances it out. Damn, what a fun one. Wow. Let's get carby. Not that we weren't already with the rice. <laughs> get some rice and some hummus on the bite. One of the best combos I've had in a long time on the vlog. This also makes sense. They're grilled boneless chicken thighs, which I obviously am obsessed with. I love thigh meat. So good. $10.95. Afghan carrot and raisin rice. You can also get dill rice or white rice instead. Get the Afghan rice. You're at an Afghan restaurant. Hummus dunked. And then I think I like this salsa better. Chutney. Oh boy, it's gonna be a big bite. I gotta unlock my inner Justin fast food pit stops for this one. My homeboy. That is some of the best chicken. Allie used to make fun of me when we'd go to those Brazilian steakhouses. I would get the most excited for the chicken over the red meat because I had never had a place prepare it so perfectly. Cooked to like 165.0 on the nose, the most tender, 
fall apart chicken, sometimes Parmesan crusted, sometimes bacon wrapped. I love red meat and everything, but you guys know I'm a chicken boy. This is up there with like Brazilian steakhouse chicken. It's cooked to perfection. I'd say if you go here, get this. And if you have a little bit more money, like a few extra dollars, get a double order of chicken. I so badly wish I had more, I have one more piece, but like more with this rice. Much like Tom making this one possible, people also making this possible are the ones that click the thanks button or Venmo or v PayPal donate to the show like Gary Clutch Clark, yeah! Chris McKella, D. Cohen, Edwin, Slippy Jones, Darcy freaking Deming, DFD dude. Tom, also you donating $60 for this review for like understanding my time of like driving all the way up to Evanston, getting the food even though it's like 10, 11 bucks, making the video, like that's what really sets it apart from other donations because like it allows me to really do this. There's money on top for me to have like a little paycheck in there. So thank you so much for this. Like those really help, really. I, hey man, sh <laughs> thank you. Really? Just watch this pull apart with ease. Like, a lot of these, like Mediterranean places sometimes will just do white meat chicken and it's kind of like too much. There's not a lot of tenderness to it. The thigh changes it all. Come on and party tonight. Come on and party tonight. So many of you guys have been following me on Instagram and then DMing me and showing me photos of the meals that you made of like something that I might have cooked in my kitchen or maybe I went out and got a specific cuisine and you never had it before and you got it. The people that do that, I love interacting with you about food. If somebody goes tonight or tomorrow and gets Afghan food and you've never had it, please hit me up on Instagram and let me know and we'll chat about how it was. I'm creating friendships over there. I just want to talk food 24 seven. Another Evanston banger. The Salvos, best pizza. Kabul House, best Afghan food. Have I had others? Not really. <laughs> That's what you guys are for. What could beat this? Nitro cold brew, dude. Feel the rush. <laughs> like a Mountain Dew flavor. Were you once addicted to cocaine and need to find a more healthy but not that healthy substitute for your need, your rage, your absolute necessity of being wired nitro cold brew feel the rush all my friends that had to stop drinking now that i'm in my mid 30s i don't know why i'm laughing it's not funny but the people that have had to like stop drinking because they had too many fun nights and they can't control it they get really into something else like really into working out or really into hiking and really into coffee because coffee is like the most healthy like way to give you like an upper like adrenaline of putting it like all my alcoholic friends Love coffee. <laughs> Feel the rush. They're gonna watch this and be like, you That's not even really a bit, that's just true. Like they all are just like going not going to Nicaragua to like harvest beans, and I'm like, man, you really 180'd. But did they? This video took a weird turn. Feel the rush. Why am I in a rainforest cafe parking lot? <laughs> Whose Maz does this? Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. This is so good. Afghan rice is my new favorite rice. I like can't let it go. I'm full, but really good portion of the rice too. The rice is so long, it's like you mistake it for like chow mein noodles. All right, calling it quits. That's the best eleven dollars I've spent recently. Shout out to the people that are like me, and they definitely wash those Tupperware and use them again for a few rounds. <laughs> oh my god, that was so good! All right, fools. Oh, that's funny. While I'm sitting here, a donation actually came in. Alex Husco. Sean, you don't really have a comfort zone with food, but if you did, seems Chinese isn't it. What the f- You don't know me, dude, but thanks for the money. <laughs> Enjoy some legit egg foo young fried rice and egg roll up this joint. So good. Old fashioned combo, egg roll, barbecue pork fried rice, barbecue pork egg foo young. All right, cool. Thank you. Can we at least say that I am the internet's comfort zone? I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. The Venmo, the cash app, the PayPal, if you want me to eat something specific, much like Alex just donated for, all love, buddy, that's really fun. Uh, can't wait to get that. Very excited. Chicken kebab with Afghan rice up. Chicken kebab with Afghan rice down. Lego.
Drive quieter.